We've done a series of stories focused on Nebraska's driving laws, specifically regarding seatbelt use and distracted driving. Two bills in the legislature would change the law, allowing police to pull you over for texting or not wearing a seatbelt. While safety advocates have clamored for these laws, similar legislation has been met with serious roadblocks. Repor Reporter John Kipper has more on the reality of either of these laws passing this year. Nebraska is one of a few states in the country that does not allow police to pull drivers over for texting and driving or for not wearing a seatbelt. Bills to change those laws haven't gone anywhere in years past. We like not to force people to do things and it's an independence that we have here by, by uh, Nebraskans and I respect that. That's State Senator Robert Hilkeman who's proposed two bills. The first makes it a primary offense to text and drive. The second makes it a primary offense if any passenger in the vehicle is not buckled up. Currently both offenses are secondary. That means you can only get pulled over if you're doing something else that's also illegal. If we pass both of this legislation during the course of this year, people that will comply to the law, we will, be, we will have fewer fatalities on our highways. And now if either bill is gonna be debated among the 49 senators in the chambers behind me, they're gonna to have to get out of committee first, which in the past has been a very difficult task. Let's start with seatbelts. Transportation Committee Chairman Kurt Friesen told us last year he's concerned about police profiling. Newly elected state Senator Michaela Kavanaugh acknowledges the seatbelt requirement would make the road safer, but has similar concerns. It's the penalization part of it that I would wanna learn more about and hear from all of the different audiences, but I'm sold on the safety. Kavanaugh says she wants more information of the committee hearing before she's able to make a decision. Senator Joni Albright says she's also waiting to pass judgment, but expressed a lot of concerns to me. If we can once again have have our children go to school on a school bus without any seat belts, but we're gonna doggone be sure that we make sure that everybody driving a car is all strapped in. I've got to keep an open mind. And I probably lean more toward the texting than I would everybody in seatbelts. The distracted driving bill would make it a primary offense if the driver of the vehicle is seen by police texting or using apps like Facebook. Drivers would still be allowed to make phone calls and use their phone for GPS. Nebraska is just one of seven states in the U.S. that doesn't do this already. Hilkeman says constituents in West Omaha have been vocal about texting and driving. You're gonna catch everybody that texts? Obviously not, but we don't catch everybody that speeds either. Albright says if she hears similar concerns from police, she'll likely vote for the legislation to move on to the floor. And I'm talking from the Nebraska State Patrol to the counties, to the cities. If, if they truly were on a push that it needed to happen because they've seen enough, that could sway my decision. Hokeman uh, hopes the new work, batch yeah, of senators I, I, changes overall, the dynamic overall, in the transportation committee and the legislature as a whole. Some year, it will happen. And I'm hopeful it's this year. For Safe Roads Now, John Kipper, 3 News Now. The committee hearings for the two bills in question are set for early March. Tomorrow night, you can weigh in on a plan